amazing. I can't stop saying it, but it's amazing. Yeah. You know, when I was in one of the streetcars, in one of the barns there, I thought, my, I thought of my dad, you know? I said, man, I said, if only my dad could be here to experience this, you know? Because he would, I remember he used to tell me he used to take the 17 to go down from Cart Cartierville to downtown, you know? Well, the 17 stopped at Garland. Right. Yeah, and then you had to take the 48 or whatever. Uh, well, you'd know better than me, that's for sure. I miss this bygone era big time. Last time I took a streetcar was when I was in San Francisco, eh? Okay. And uh, I know you work here and you do this probably every day, uh, so it's nothing new to you. But you know, when I was down there, I was blown away because I mean, you got streetcars like this, you got the Milan streetcars, which you know are North American style, yeah. like this, and you got the PCCs, and, the, and then you got the cable cars. It's incredible. Yeah. Definitely, well, and, you know. I didn't know San Francisco had, uh, were taking out their vintage cars on occasion. No, 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 I'm telling you, man, if you check it out at their stock um, on their website, I'm telling you, well, you're gonna, you won't believe how many cars they have. X Toronto, X uh, Pittsburgh, X this, X that. Oh, it's, okay, so they, they even have tons of them waiting restoration. Yeah. Well, it costs a pretty penny to restore one of these things. Well, they're obviously a massive, dedicated bunch of enthusiasts, you know? Um, hey, you see that old commuter car there? With the red front? I used to take those when I lived in Roxborough in West Island, oh, right? Yeah, in the yeah. 80s. That's where I lived. Oh, you did? Really? Oh, that's funny. What street? Fourth Avenue North. I lived on 9th Street. Okay, so you're further down. I thought to my friend, I said, man, it would be so cool if I could get inside just to see what it looks like, see if it still has all red seats and all that, you know? Uh, it still has everything in there. Probably not in very good shape, though, eh? I would not say that. Hey, what do you think of the odds that my buddy and me could, uh, could see something getting fired up today? Slim to none. Slim to none, eh? Usually trains only, uh, locomotives are only fired on, on, uh, on the weekend. Well, I guess I'll have to come back, that's for sure. Because in my opinion, it's 20 bucks. No, I'll put it on two, so I'll go down Yeah, it's the yeah. best money I've spent, that's for sure. Yeah. You know? uh, Talk to yeah, you later. Yeah, the mold, you know? Oh, yeah, it's true, we gotta get off it. Yeah, they're switching. Well, we don't have to get off at the... No, you don't have to get off. It's uh, changing operator. It's the last ride, eh? It's like what, Doc? It's like what, Doc? It's 11.51. For the no spinning. And you learn something every day. I'm a firm believer in that, that's for sure. But the only reason why they uh, stopped allowing smoking on the streetcars was because they could fit more passengers on if they had no smoking. It was nothing to do with health. Oh, I wanted to ask you something, Use Was this beforehand, uh, I think the museum opened, what was it again, the 60s or 50s? 60s. 60s. Was it a rail yard before? Nope. Pig farm. Get out of here. Pig farm. Because you would think the way they set everything up with all the tracks, the turntables, that, that it was, you know? If you look. If you put the sound uh, on the park of the day, the no? Si vous descendez, il faut que tu marches à pied pour retourner à Ingus. Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un intéressant de 3 minutes ici? Non. Non. Il attend de retrouver le train parce qu'il y a des petits enfants. Oh my God! Look at this. I have, I have at home a 
poster that says this. It shows one, like one of the rocket street cars, and it shows an, about a 1960 Brill Canadian car, which unfortunately were not the best Brills ever made. Brills were dangerous and they were supposed to be outlawed by uh, what? 1919. They continued to use them, especially on the short lines in uh, the Montreal West, right up until the end of operations on Sherbrooke Street. Wait, wait, are we talking about buses or, or streetcars? Street cars. Okay. Brill streetcars. There used to be one that, uh, a Brill number 200, which is in building 5, that used to run between Elmhurst and uh, Chester. In, uh, hey, I used to live on Chester. In, uh, NDG. Montreal West, yeah. There weren't many people taking it. Well, you know your stuff, my friend. There's nothing like talking to people who know what they're talking about. You know? You have people. Another question for you. The other streetcars, are they operational? Uh, number three is operational. Number one is operational, but it's stuck in the building there. Number eight is operational. Work car three is operational. That's good to know. Uh, 1928, you said, Martin, 1928. This one was built in 1928. And it is our company. On the wall. Ah, stepping back in time. Yeah, right. We also have on the wall cars and that, but uh, they're buried in the building. So I guess you guys get so much funding from the feds, eh? Oh, there's nothing. Really? No, no. You consider that socialism. When you got Republicans or uh, conservatives, they don't give much money to museums unless it has to do with something that's politically good for that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, huh? So you guys, you have state funding. I got it, I got it, I got it. funding or something like this for the first thing we can do. That's right, yeah. And for us, it's a lot of social services for us and then extra for uh, yeah, education. Uh, I never could understand the foolishness of cutting education. No, I mean, whatever comes around goes around. So if you have more education, you have a stronger economy. Yeah. You've got it, but the lady uh, you know, who wants to spend money on education. Uh, le bâtiment fermé à midi. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Sorry, dude, I'm in the moment. <laughs> I guess they took out this back window because, oh no, they brought it down because it's so damn hot in here. Railroading, I mean, the railroad formed the country and you know what funds that? Unbelievable. Hey, as you know and I know, unfortunately, there's just not enough people who are into you history. Know, if I had the money, I'd do it. Like, you know, I'd give them a ton of it and make it for everything. Yeah, so would I, bud. So would a lot of people, actually. in those two when I was younger. Well, not exactly that model, but similar. Okay, I got it. 
again, again. Oh. Work. Yeah, you know, I'd have to lighten that up, but otherwise it's okay. Okay. I could make it brighter. It could be worse. Yeah, be nice. Oh, nice. Ontario. Ontario. Outremont. Outremont. Van Horn. Van Horn. Papineau. Park Avenue. Avenue. Rosemont. You know how much that's worth alone? <laughs> Oh, look at this. $40 fine for spitting. Holy jeez, that's a ton of money back then. Merci, monsieur. Continue le bon travail, c'est important. L'histoire, faut qu'elle continue. That's for sure. I guess they take her back to the barn, eh?